on this video you will get to see me eat my nigerian fufu and obono soup i made this soup six months ago and six months later i am still eating off of them they are still fresh and they taste amazing you also get to see me make nigerian gari fufu from scratch it is a very easy process to make and you will get to see that you also get to see me try some of the meats that i put in the soup such as cow food cow tongue snails and some other interesting meat choices on there i did a review on what those meat taste like their textures and things like that you also get to see a sneak peek of my deep freezer and you will get to see um, what nigerian soup looks like i hope you enjoyed this video as usual thank you and enjoy guys you remember how i always say i run out of pepper and i don't have one well guess what i'm here digging down the bottom of my freezer trying to bring back bring that um bring back bring out like you know frozen soup that i made six months ago you all remember the ones that i made in batches this one is obono and guess what i found down there pepper y'all I found some pepper. I've been saying that I run out of pepper for a while. And each time I go to the store, I forget to buy one, which is why I've been using um, pepper flakes for my fajitas instead of fresh pepper. Guess what? I had one the whole time. And it was somewhere in the bottom of my freezer. So I just wanted to share that with you guys that I got some fresh pepper now. So I will be making more fajitas. I know you're tired of seeing fajitas, but oh well. Ah! But yeah, that's frozen food. I made it six months ago. And I'm still eating off of it. Guys, you remember the soup that I made six months ago? I'm still eating off of it. I still have some plates left. Um, this one right here, I uh, want a soup. I have like two plates right there. And then back here, I don't know if you can see it. That's okra, like three plates right there. One, two, three. And I just took two okra's plate out and one obono so i just took out three plates and i still have more i will show you guys what i took out i'm gonna um put it in the regular fridge and that's what i'm gonna eat off of it's gonna still be fresh i made this six months ago in december almost six months down here i have a wussy soup but i don't feel like digging it's underneath here somewhere oh can you guys see it it's right there can you see it can you see it can you see plates right there yes oh i don't feel like digging but it's in there so i moved some stuff around so i'm able to get to the juicy part so i moved some stuff the obono and the okra is down there now i'm able to get to a goosey that's a goosey right there a goosey soup i'm gonna take two so i don't have to go through this again i'm gonna take two that i put it on the outer surface that's a goosey soup, frozen a goosey soup. I made this bad boy six months ago in December time, almost six months ago. And they're still fresh. Once you put it in the microwave, let it defrost, put it in the microwave, and it's going to be fresh. And you can make your fufu and eat it. Um, you all know how I be. I don't like cooking all the time. So when I cook, I make stuff in batches so that I don't have to be cooking all the time. So, and when I make it in batches, depending on what the food is, I can eat off of it for six months in this case. Ha! So, after taking two plates of egusi, let's see if I have any more egusi left. Um, yes, I still have egusi left. Looks like I have maybe three down there at least. So, three egusi, three okra, and, and one obono soup. So, what? Seven soups I have left. And I made this bad boy six months ago, and I'm still living off of it. That's how I do it. You guys don't judge me and be like, oh, you still eating off of food that is old. Please don't judge me, okay? <laughs> this is just something I do, and I think it's common in a lot of African family. We make food in batches, especially our native soups, and um, put it in the freezer and just eat off of it. And I guess what I found down there? Ha! Found some um, popsicle so that's good so i'm putting everything back as you can see i have a lot of meats guys you can't believe it i took out seven containers from this freezer but it doesn't look like i took out anything it's still filled up all the way to the top but let me show you guys what i took out so these are the plates that i just took out from there these are fro these two right here frozen okra soup nigerian okra soup nigerian egusi soup that i made six months ago 
and obono soup along with um chicken noodle soup and yes i found fresh peppers so i don't have to use dry peppers anymore um so this is chicken noodle soup this is okra soup that's like chicken thai on top of it these two are chick um okra soup and this right here a goosey soup i made them six months ago in batches um i posted a video already um of when i was making it but i can repost that or whatnot um this right here is obono soup you remember i used um snails that's the snail lip right there that's the snail lip picking out i can go through it when i warm it up so y'all can see what it looks like So guys these are the soup the next day as you can see they are now defrosted i'm gonna show you an example you see how you can easily put a fork through it you see that that's an example that's okra soup that you saw and this right here is obono soup i made all of these and this right here is a goosey soup and the last one right here, chicken noodle soup. As you can see, this one is not even fully defrosted. But I brought them out yesterday, let them sit off until the evening time. And then I sit them, I sat them here in the sink. And then during the evening time, I put them back in the regular fridge instead of the freezer. That's why some of them are not all the way defrosted. But that's fine. The microwave can do the rest. I could have easily put in the microwave when I brought it out. But I had the time. I'm like, you know what? Let me defrost it instead. Now I'm making fufu. Gary fufu. My hot water is boiling. I'm about to make my gary fufu to go with it. But I'm not sure which soup to warm. Should I warm the Nigerian egusi soup? Or bono soup? Or okra soup? And this is chicken noodle soup. I might have that for dinner. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is my plate that I brought out to scoop some to put in the microwave. But I'm not sure which one to scoop from. Um maybe i'm gonna start with what am i craving for i don't even know i just know that i want to eat fufu gary fufu but i don't know which soup to choose i have so many options but i made this bad boy yo. Yeah? um i think i'm gonna go with obono i'm gonna go with obono soup so i'm gonna scoop out of from here i'm gonna start off with obono so good see how easy it looks now that it's defrosted if you want if you didn't have the time like let's say you needed the food and you brought it out from the um freezer you don't need to like wait for it to defrost you can just put um put it in the microwave and it should defrost like in the microwave just like regular food but because i wasn't craving it yesterday i wanted to eat it today that's why i had enough time to let it defrost this is snail you all see the snail i don't know if i'm focusing it correctly can you see it can you see it better now? Yeah, I think this is better. This is the snail. Oh, I can't wait to take a bite. Snails are very crunchy. But yeah, you see how fresh this looks. I made this in December, y'all. And look. Almost six months later. Or maybe six months. And it still looks fresh. All done. Just scooped out some. Microwave it goes. all right let's cover that up let's cover that up i need to put away these clean dishes <laughs> let's cover that up all right let's see we can start off with two minutes now i'm gonna cover the rest this is gonna be my second eat so i like to um when i'm putting this in the freezer i just put a lot of soup in here it doesn't matter how many times it's gonna last me i just need to create space in the freezer so i just put a lot of fruit um soup and i just scoop from it so today it looks like this one i could make this one last me three times but i haven't had it in a while and that's why i scooped so much soup so the next time i'll be eating this so it's gonna last me two times maybe two and a half because i might have some left um from there but anyway so these are gonna go back in the fridge now and i have food for the next week or so this is chicken noodle soup but yeah came from the freezer still living off of the food that i made um months ago that's how i like to do i don't like to cook all the time so when i cook i just make them in batches especially my african soup 
and just eat off of my freezer you already know and then if i go to my freezer this is the one that i brought out you remember i brought out like two sets of soup instead of it being all the way i brought this out and i put them on top so instead of me having to dig every time to get to the bottom i decided to brought like the obono okra and a goosey soup the extra like extra of each one and put it on top so that the next time i need it i don't have to bring everything out um but yeah and this is fresh pepper now i have fresh pepper because you know i ran out for a while now so i was able to find a fresh pepper y'all remember all the way deep down there but yeah I'm about to make fufu, Gary fufu. Then you scoop, start doing it like this. There are different methods to make it. You could make this directly on the stove and use this to stir it up. Like I use this right here to stir it off in on the stove, or you can do this. So it's different ways to make fufu. This one I like because this one is so easy. You just put hot water and start scooping gari. So this is so easy to make. Fufu, gari fufu. There's different kinds of fufu. This one is my easiest one because I can make this one easily. I just need hot water and I'm good to go. And then stir it with your spoon. Making gari fufu hot water and your gari that's how you make gari fufu and then use a spoon and stir it up now that there's no more water to get rid of this uncooked one you see there's no water on here and you can see it's dry to get rid to make to cook to cook it down then you use your remaining hot water and put on top so that the top part will cook you know what i mean and then after that After that, you use spoon. You use spoon, 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 spoon. You use spoon, and then you, I can't do it with holding my camera, but you use spoon and pretty much mash it together, twist it, and it will be done. Your fufu gari is ready. That's it, I'm done. You can see I have twisted all of it. <laughs> Again, I can't do it holding the camera. That's it, your fufu. So you twist it like this. Like you're making mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? So like get all of them to mix up. You know? Like you're making mashed potatoes. Ew! Ow! It's hot. It's hot. Be careful. It's very hot. It is very hot. So that's it. You're done mashing it. As you can see, now they all look mashed up together. You see what I'm saying? This right here is right here, Gary Fufu. Nah, Gary Fufu. This is what it looks like, the raw form of it, and you make it using hot water, and it looks like this afterwards. But this is what you use to eat your soup. This is um, Nigerian Gary Fufu. But yeah, don't say I never teach you anything about Africa. <laughs> but yeah, I already posted how to make it. But this is what it looks like after you're done making it. It's very thick. It it's almost like a mashed potato, but a very thick mashed potato. If you that's the best way I can describe it. And you use it to make um eat fufu by doing this. Do this, and then you dip your soup and you eat. Alright, bye. Now I'm scooping a bit on my plate and then pressing it down so that the heat can go. It's very hot. And I'll be using it to eat my fufu gari. And then the rest will go in the fridge for next time. All right, that's it. So this is what I'm going to be eating. And the rest, I will cover it up like this. And put back, <coughs> excuse me, and put back in the fridge. But yeah, so I'm about to bring my soup. So I think the soup is done warming up. It's done. That big bone, that big bone right there, that's cow foot. 
that's cow foot this right here that's cow foot so this is what it looks like but the meat i guess fall inside the soup when it was cooking but this is cow foot that's the skin of the cow foot that's snails i already got showed you guys i'm excited about this now <laughs> my mouth is even watering while while i'm talking and this right here is beef tongue cow tongue this is beef tongue what is this let's see what is this um this right here looks like oh this is um um turkey this is turkey either turkey or chicken i used all kinds of meat in here all kinds of meat all right guys let's eat fufu i already showed you guys was it was in my soup already now let's eat fufu don't forget to wash your hand i already washed my hand but we're gonna do it again in front of the camera so you scoop based off of the amount that you can swallow some people like to chew it you can do either or there's no right or wrong way it's based off of your preference so you, this is obono soup so you scoop soup and then you swallow this is so good and very spicy of course <laughs> i made it spicy so good i made this six months ago and i brought it i've been eating off of it and then i took a break from it and it's still saving lives six months later <laughs> you cannot tell i made it six months ago look it still look fresh i put it in the freezer and i brought it out yesterday to defrost i showed a video of it already so good all right we're gonna take a bite we're gonna take a bite let's do let's start off with cow tongue this is cow tongue okay just like beef it's very crunchy though i don't know if you have that crunchiness and this is cow foot cow foot this is cow foot the skin of the cow foot if you cook it, if you don't cook it enough, it can be like very hard to chew. So you have to cook it either with pressure cooker or on the regular stove. But you have to cook it for a very long time, depending on the type of cow food that is. If it's female or male, some of them take longer to cook. You see the skin? I just took a bite of it. It's a little gamey because it's the skin. You see the collagen right there forming? let's see oh the snail let's do the snail the snail let's take a bite of the snail so i'm eating fufu this is the snail see this is the lip again i like doing this tuk, 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 tuk. that's the lip of the snail where i cross see that and when it cross the eye is right there with you so let's take a bite of the eye all the way to the i'm guessing this is the chest <laughs> Mm. Whew, that was good very crunchy i love snails i think that's all the everything on my in my soup i think that's it i mean this is um oh this is another cow tongue this one is juicier oh this is the inside of it hmm cow tongue so juicy I right, bye thank you so much for watching this is one of the comments from um one of my aka three story viewers she's so funny